Okay, the last piece that we're going to talk about is sound quality. Um, how do different instruments make different noises or different songs or different tones? And how is noise different from music? Um, for example, if you play the piano, play the violin, you can play the same note, but why do they sound differently? What, why is that different than just playing an A and all A's sound, sound the same? If I sing an A and somebody else were singing an A, the note A, it sounds different for me than it would be for them, just a different tone in their voice. Um, first thing is, what is sound quality? Imagine that someone plays a sound with a certain pitch on a piano. Then the person plays the same pitch, but on the violin. Both sounds or notes have the same fundamental frequency. It means their waves are traveling at the same size and, and, and wave speed. However, it is easy to tell the difference between the two notes. This is because the note on an instrument plays is made of more than just the fundamental frequency. A single note from an instrument is actually made of several, several different pitches. The main pitch is this fundamental pitch. The note also contains several overtones. Each instrument produces different overtones. Therefore, each instrument produces a different sound, different sounding note. The instruments have different sound qualities. Sound quality is the result of combining several pitches through interference of waves. So you can kind of see that here's the fundamental frequency, but then we can have a first overtone, a second overtone, and then the resulting sound. Okay, so the note produced by an instrument is the result of combining different pitches, several different pitches. The fundamental pitch is the main pitch of the note. When the overtones and the fundamental pitch are combined, they produce a sound with a certain sound quality. So here's your piano. See how it's still kind of the same? And here's your violin. See how the overtones are combined? Still have the same type of wave, the same frequency of wave, but now we have the overtones put in. Taking a look at your reading check here, what causes the same note played on a guitar and a piano to have a different sound? How do instruments make sounds? All instruments produce sounds by vibrating, so they vibrate the note. They vibrate the space around them. Remember that vibration is waves, that's why there's waves. The shape of an instrument affects its sound quality. The three main types of instruments are string instruments, wind instruments, and percussion instruments. Each type of instrument produces a different sound. String instruments. A string instrument produce, the string instruments produce sound when the, their strings vibrate. You can make a string vibrate by plucking it as a guitar or a banjo. You can also make a string vibrate by using a bow as a violin or a cello. Um, I have a violin. I play the violin, so when I play the violin, the the violin has the horse hair or the hair on the on the bow, and you use a rosin that grabs the string, and the string makes it vibrate. The vibrations in the string make the air inside of the vi violin vibrate, and that produces the sound. Um, some of you may play the violin at home, and, or may, maybe have someone that plays a uh, guitar, and, and that's a good example of that as well. And you have different types of lengths of strings and thickness of strings. So if you take a look at this question here, what length strings produce lower pitches? So if you think about, think of like a rubber band. When I have a loose rubber band and I pluck it, it's really low. If I tighten that rubber band and pluck it, it gets higher. Same with the violin. Um, they are all the same size, but the thicker string has a lower pitch. Um, think of a cello, how much longer a cello is. Um, when, than a violin. The smaller the instrument, the higher the pitch of the sound. Uh, wind, wind instruments. Wind instruments produce sound when the air inside a column vibrates. You can make the air inside a wind instrument vibrate by blowing into it. The vibration creates resonance inside the instrument. Covering the keys changes the length of the column of vibrating air. This changes the pitch of the sound. So a uh, clarinet or a recorder, you guys have all played a recorder when you cover it up and produces different sounds. There are two different groups of wind instruments, woodwinds and brass. Woodwinds include saxophone, oboes, flutes, and recorders. Brass instruments include French horns, trombones, tuba, and trumpets. Uh, my son plays the, the um, trombone. 
Um, and then the last type of musical instrument is what I played. Actually, I played the tuba, and I also played the percussion in um, high school. Um, percussion instruments produce sound when they are struck. Striking the instrument causes part of it to vibrate. The pitch of the sound depends on the size of the instrument. Larger percussion instruments usually make lower pitch. Drums, bells, and cymbals are percussion instruments. Now, the last piece here, how are music and noise different? Now, my kids at home make a lot of noise. Uh, they don't make a lot of music. So they're running around the house making noise. I'm sure you guys do this at home. I'm sure your parents love it. When you make noise, is different than, a, than music. Noise is any sound that is a random mix of frequencies. Most sounds you hear are noises. The sound of a car driving down the road is an example of a noise, just a random frequency. You can use an oscilloscope to see the difference between a musical sound and a noise. A note from an instrument produces a sound wave with a repeating pattern. Noise produces complex sound waves with no pattern. So here's an example of a, of a piano playing a note. See how it's repeating the pattern? Down here is just someone making a clap. Just random, no pattern, not at all. Okay, so that gives us the difference between a noise and music. Well, that's it. That's the last one on sound. Um, tomorrow you're going to take a little quiz, so good luck on that. Use your notes from this. Use the readings from this to help you on your quiz. All right, we have two more lessons on um, the EM spectrum. Um, that's the light spectrum. We'll talk about light waves, and then you'll have your test, and that'll be it. That'll be the end of the year. All right, thank you, guys. Hopefully you're getting this stuff. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.